All right, in this video, we're going to start looking at the root test to determine whether or not a series converges or diverges. And again, the root test says we take our series, the formula, and we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. Just like the root test, or excuse me, just like the ratio test, um, the root test has similar results. If the, uh, if the limit's less than 1, the root test says the series converges. If it's greater than 1, it diverges. If it equals 1, it's inconclusive. So just a few different examples here. We'll decide whether it converges or diverges. So part A here we've got from 1 to infinity of 3 to the n, e to the negative n. So we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity. We can take the absolute value of this stuff. Um, again, we're going to take the nth root. But taking the nth root is equivalent to raising it to the 1 over n power. Well. Both of these uh, are going to be positive no matter what value of n we plug in. So we can just simply drop, you know, get rid of the absolute value. Well, then we'll raise it to the 1 over n power. Well, we have to multiply exponents. So we'll get n times 1 over n. That'll give us 3 to the first. Then we'll get negative n times 1 over n. That'll give us e to the negative first power. This is just a constant, so the limit will equal 3 times e to the negative 1. But that's going to be 3 over e to the positive first power. And, well, this is greater than 1 because e is smaller than 3. So that's going to tell us that our series diverges. And, again, you could have recognized that at the very beginning by rewriting 3 to the n over e to the negative n as 3 over e all raised to the n power. So you could have also recognized the original series as being a geometric series where um, the r value is not between negative 1 and positive 1. So in this case, our series will diverge.